Hey everybody, welcome back to more Silent Hill side quests downpour. Ooh. Uh, woo, I still got a guest here with me because this won't be tedious at all. <laughs> of course not. No. Uh, but yeah, so we, we kind of started on the Shadow Sigil side quest. And uh, kind of one of the more out of the way ones is all the way back at that apartment where we could have gotten the thief's outfit. I don't know if that particular apartment building has a name. I don't care. But, um, yeah, I don't know it. If it does have a name, I have no idea. Yeah. But, so yeah, in this little area over here, we do find... I try... I keep on forgetting what the name of that, uh, that healing staff thing... I don't know it either. I have no yeah. idea. I think in one game it was called, like, the Staff of Catechus, but I don't know if that's, mm. like, the, the universal name for it. Also... Um, I kind of think I was stupid. Yeah, you when... gotta turn that, buddy. <laughs> well, I didn't realize at the time, like, all right, well, it's lit up, it should be done. <laughs> it's like, no, because there's, like, another side of the twisty bit at the bottom. So I'm like, uh, maybe I'm just not lining up the shadow. <laughs> this is when you do it over and pretend it never happened. But this game mm. auto-saves, no, right? The... So you can't... I think here it's more, like... I really wanted to show off, like, do I line up the shadow? <laughs> wow, you're doing this for a long time! No, it's, 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 I am the most competent person at games, and I think <laughs> it, I swear to God, like, this isn't, like, 30 oh minutes. Oh my god, I'm screaming inside. Turn it, Murphy! <laughs> Yay! Hooray! And the bad thing is, I think we have another two of these to go. Oh, I do. I do get the other ones a lot quicker. This okay. one is this one is the most. I tedious. thought you meant another two turns, and you just fucked. You did the same thing and fucked with did, it for like three minutes straight. No, I. Yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. it wasn't, you got it. <laughs> that wasn't even close, but there we go. Wow. And also, you you keep getting reminded of the ugly like dissolve effect they put on things. Boodunk. I feel like the the item pickup noise is like a tiny like a pitch lower than it should be i am not actually sure actually it i'm trying to run deeper or something oh oh yeah now i know why i didn't cut this out because we're, we're heading to the the ribbon quest ah this is the yeah. one i have pretty much no knowledge of except the i know the subject matter but i don't really know where you it mean, is how to start it yeah, where it I leads to i, th I think a, a few people in the thread have noticed that there there have been these uh like red and yellow ribbons about town. Mm. I noticed them too, but I was like, what is up with that? Oh well, yeah. I guess it's just decoration because there is nothing to, there's nothing to do with them. Yeah, and it it is a bit vague to figure out like what the actual start of the quest is. Cause I, it, I have no clue what the start of the quest is. No are, idea. Y you see that thing on the wall over there? Mm, yeah. yeah. I think I picked that up. But... And you're, and it's like find the missing girl because it's mm. it's a, uh, it's like oh an autistic girl has gone missing and she hates the color blue, blue mm. like water, <gasps> but that that has nothing to do with anything. Um, so oh my you, god, if you have a kid with special needs that bad, they're not allowed to walk home on their own. You just Follow let them, you let the, them roam free. No, <laughs> that is kind of offensive to me. <laughs> so she avoids the color blue, so someone could just like. Totally fuck up this kid's walking path and get them lost. Like, what well, just happened? Well, when you're living in the bluest town possible. <laughs> that too. Uh, so, you find this yellow ribbon a little bit further down the street. That's on a blue pole. Oh, no, that's like gray. That's like, blue. It's like navy gray. That's blue. <laughs> so, um, so, you find the little girl's backpack and it's like, oh, mommy has found a new path for you to come home. And it gives you the breakdown of yellow means left, red means right. But so which way like, do you have to walk? Uh, you have to go left from the ribbon. So in this case... Oh, from... But which which left? Are you facing uh, the ribbon or are you facing the pole? I, I would say, like, just go... I, the The best point of reference is to go towards the street that it's pointing at. Ah, okay. I know that it makes little to no sense, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's really dumb. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's literally like, go the only way you can go, which is mm. towards the most dangerous parts of town. Uh, 
Man, she wanted this little girl to get fucking lost or murdered or whatever happened to her. Well, I mean, it's good to keep in mind that, you know, we're in Silent Hill post-fuckery. I mean, before, this could have been a fine and normal stroll through the park. No problem. You know, just pick the kid up from school. Just pick her up from school. None of this ribbon bullshit. You're a bad parent. Yeah, but the main problem, or why I didn't really do this earlier, is because the pathway... Well, you just saw there. (gasps) Blue, run away! Oh, I can't. Yeah, we can't go that way. So, guess we gotta go down here. Sure. So, so her mom knows that she hates, like, has an actual mental aversion to Blue. Hangs up blue ribbons just to fuck with her kid and torment her. Well, no, it's to lead her to the right direction home. What if she has a mental breakdown when she sees blue? I mean, what if she has a seizure or something when she sees blue? This shady alleyway is like home central, I guess. Oh my god. I think this was a big plan to get her, get this kid off her hands. Uh, that's I think this silly. was a shady I... Silent Hill-esque plan to murder her kid. No, I don't... Th- that would be Did incredibly... I just guess the ending? That would No, that would be incredibly dark and morbid. I I'm guess sure... the ending, I just did it. No, there... Well, you remember over in that part of town, there was that one lit doorway. I'm sure that's where we're heading. Also, <laughs> hey, hey, look, it's another sigil, because yeah, I... People wa- keep throwing these out. Yeah, there's just banana boxes full of sigils. <laughs> Sound who loves bananas, but hates sigils. It, well, yeah. I mean, imagine if that little autistic girl was surrounded by bananas. She'd be stuck in a loop forever. <laughs> the purest of hell. Yes. I think this one was a glitch one. I couldn't get to... Uh, I couldn't I, get I, to I, stick on the wall or something. I, I was able to get this one... No, this one disappeared. He was, he was spinning an, an invisible object that didn't cast a shadow, I think. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't have as much of an issue with this one. Because I think I realized at this point that the the shadow casting was a bit more liberal than I initially mm-hmm. thought. So I'm like, all right, well my I'll light wasn't even fuck, my light wasn't even shining on that shit. So mm-hmm. it's like, good job, get yeah. out of here. Just do a drive by with your flashlight. Oh, so, by the way, the um the side quest you're doing with the ribbons, uh. Yeah. Brian Gomez, one of the writers slash producers of this game, said that he based that off of real life because he knew some woman who did that to help her autistic kid home. But then he added a dark, morbid twist at the end. Bum bum bum. Dun dun dun. Was that the color blue? I don't know. I don't know what the twist. The twist. I, She's I, probably I, dead. And, and the autistic girl in real life didn't die. Well, you see here, the mom was obviously nice enough not to lead her kid underneath the bridge, but to lead it near... Right right past Napier's van. Yeah. So we know what happened to her. No. Aww. But But we are getting close to the end, but before that, another side quest. Because mm. I, I want to draw the tension. So tense. <gasps> did you... Did you... Do you remember the... the very in-depth side quest in this particular house. Is this, like, spread ashes somewhere quest? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's the hardest side quest in the game. This, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm, yes. Yes, it I mean, is. We, we are going to have to bowl. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's a bowling mini game. Finally, the real game starts now. Yeah. Patrick Weirden. He's got a weird name. Uh, Hey, look, it's an innocuous picture of some place we haven't been yet. Uh, I bet we don't need to know that. (laughs) How? how? I love how how he says that. I love how shitty he says that. (laughs) Looks like this is a special place to somebody. He has no idea. (laughs) Who fucking knows what kind of freak would (laughs) would like a peer? Fucking uh, probably old, sucks. They're a jerk, and I hate them. Old dead people. Mm-hmm. Who but like yeah. bowling? I was, I was just gonna vaguely explain what we're doing outside of meandering instead mm-hmm. of finding a poor lost autistic child. Priorities. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, side quest first. You gotta go for the one that pays off the most. Mm-hmm. And I mean, help the aged. The dead aged. Yeah. So. 
you know, there there are a few open rooms in here. We found a picture, and even though it's not lit up, hey, let's steal an urn for no real reason. Dibs. <laughs> it's my urn now. And even though he has no inclination, no idea, there's not like a <laughs> creepy message there that says, eh, my wife's dead, spread her ashes. I thought there was. I don't think so. Well, there, there's a note on the bed. That's it's like, the th I think that's the thing. No, it's just a funeral notice. It's like, hey, mm. my wife is dead. Oh, I thought... Mm. No. Oh, there, I there... thought there was something that was like, oh, my last wish is that I didn't get to spread my wife's ashes at the pier. <laughs> no, no, you're just meant to assume because Murphy is no. psychic or something. I'm just making up story where there is none, <laughs> explanations where there aren't any. Yeah, Murphy is the dead zone. This is what makes this quest hard. That thing you were looking at there. Uh, that is why I did not play on hard, because <laughs> I... That's a good reason not to. I, I do that, not... that thing, uh, that calendar said something, I don't know. No, that calendar was like, eh. Saturday, spread wife's ashes. <laughs> but, but then yeah, all, the, all the days stopped being crossed out, like the week before, implying that he died and didn't get to do it. Huh? I... Huh? I'm gonna go with that. Because that makes a little bit more sense, but... Let's do a bonus video making sure that I'm wrong. <laughs> Alright, so we... Oh, we found another yellow, so we're gonna go left into the pier. Hey, wait, there's a stop sign. You surely stop. I can't. I'm beckoned on by my ashes and ribbons. <laughs> I will say, like, the next ribbon is... I don't, I don't know how you're supposed to find it, honestly. Like, I don't think I skipped one. But for Maybe some it's reason, just leading you to the general area that is this. Well, there's a lot of general areas over here. It's like, hey, look, there's a broken the open fence. And... Ish area. Honestly, I'm not sure why there's this weird wharf area. Right behind somebody's house, too. Yeah, it's kind of like the Gangs of New York setting back here or something, but... <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember Silent Hill being much of like a shipping dock area because it's just kind of Toluca Lake, right? Yeah, so far as I know, it's just on Toluca Lake, but I think Toluca Lake might, I don't know, might be attached to a larger body of water. Things get weird the more games they put in this series. Yeah, but uh, through this really welcoming <laughs> thing, uh, oh, we're getting close. Can't can't see where this Mom, is going. Mom, how could you? Mom, uh, no! Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Channeling Henry Townsend there from Silent Hill Four. And uh, you get you get an achievement for this. What's bullshit? Uh, is, that, is I've been here and there ain't no key here because uh, I didn't get the quest. Yeah, you you have to get Fucking the quest, but stupid. but for for getting that key, you get I think uh. <laughs> Uh, you get to deliver uh, the bad news to the parents, or the good I, news. I, I think they well, meant think, to do this. I think the achievement is called, like, a short walk off a off long, a long pier. pier. It should be a long walk off a short pier. It, yeah, it was just... I Once that achievement popped up, I was like, did you seriously make light of murdering an autistic girl? <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, they did. I, I, I guess in the end... I think having a Chivo at all is kind of making light of the situation. <laughs> I, well, it could be that maybe the town, like, messed around with the position of the ribbons. Maybe. I like the idea that the parents were just fucked up horrible people that did it. Or the town uh, made the parents fucked up horrible people who did it. Well, the thing is, we, n we now actually know the address of the girl's house. So, so let's are, confront we... them about it. Maury yeah, we... style. We are going to confront them, but we do have to spread ashes first. <laughs> Man, and you're I, helping all the dead people. Sound Hill's I, full of ghosts that got problems. I think at this point, I was I wasn't sure of the last location for like the digging up nonsense quest. Mm, yeah, I kind of. But gave I gave up think on it, that. Oh, I I have to do it. I have to get a hundred percent. You're doing the LP. If I were doing the LP, I'd do it too. But. Yeah, you you would just be like, all right, I'm beat done. me to it, sucker. <laughs> but yeah, so out of all the benches, this is the romantic 
bench, I guess. Well, I mean, it's got some beautiful view of some fog. Yeah, and someone forever. Poof, 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 poof. poof. That's what Ash sounds like. It does. In my head. Ash Ketchum. So, we, uh... Don't make me do that impression. I know how to do it. <laughs> who doesn't? Mm -hmm. he, he's so... Oh! What hey, did you just pour dirt on my bench? We were about to make out there. <laughs> and not that I wouldn't love to That's fight prison minions. But, yeah, I... They're not worth it. Uh, I you're, honestly you're don't know. <laughs> I don't know if, though if they only spawn when you put the ash on there, or if they're just random. I think they're random. Uh, I don't know. They had pretty good timing. I think they spawn after the ash happens. They happen right after that. Yeah. I think I if mean, you go there without the ash, I don't know. They did spawn for me at some point, but I did do the ash quest, so I'm not really sure when. It was it was when weird either way. So, but. I mean, we, we now have the combination to, I guess, their son's very intricate <laughs> locking mechanism in He's his bedroom. He's got a lot of porn in there. Uh, yeah. And, you know, the, this is exactly like the safe we've dealt with before. Ugh. It's not... Think, on normal, it's completely doable. I think on easy, it's probably already open. I don't know. <laughs> I think it is actually, if but, I'm not mistaken. But like on hard, these dials like are just They're crazy. Yeah. They're they're oh, crazy right now, that's pretty crazy. You gotta really think about this. No, that that took a lot less time than me spinning around a fucking symbol. <laughs> I felt so stupid doing that. <laughs> and what's our reward? A health kit? Oh no. It's a gun. Th not even a fancy gun. Yep. The, Your well, son the, had a gun. The the only fancy gun I I don't even have anymore. I what I'm actually I'm not sure where I lost the golden gun. What the hell? The, but yeah, I, oh. I that's why well that's why that's why I picked up the shotgun. That's a shame. Yeah, I mean it it will be remembered. Except so unceremoniously where, chucked. I I wanted to say I lost it down in the crypt, but I I don't I honestly don't remember. But I mean, a I shotgun's know. better, so. Yeah. Especially for all the combat we've been doing. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That, that's I mean, stuff. Especially, especially after all we we went through to get the tomahawk. For all the combat we would yeah. be doing. Yeah. That thing. I mean, it's it it is a good weapon. Yeah. It's got like. <laughs> it's got high. It's got high damage. It's got high durability. It will break. It looks nice. Yeah, it's a different. It's a different model. Looks sassy. Yeah, sassy, brassy, ready for a night on the town of scalping. Mm-hmm. And oh look, it's another bird. Aw, what are you doing here, little feller? Somewhere there's like a pet shop that exploded. <laughs> it's it... and everything landed upright somehow because Silent Hill is spooky like that. Things just I... happen. I would say it was like the creepy pet shop from Silent Hill 4. Hi, Murphy. But, Hi. <laughs> but I think that was that was in Ashfield, which is nowhere near here. Mm. It's at least a few subway stops away from here. Yeah, but we only have one more bird to get. We're actually 99% of the way done with all the side quests in the game. Woo! Yeah. Oh no, I'm totally terrified of the one enemy type. <laughs> The one very humanoid, very dull enemy type. And I, I like a tomahawk is actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. That made quick work of her, actually. Yeah, I mean when she's not randomly blocking or just smacking me about, it's it's pretty easy fight. Scratching on you and stuff. Yeah. I'm excited to learn the conclusion of the autistic girl walking off a pier quest. Well, I would I would get to that, but uh, obviously this bridge is super important. Fine. We have to scour for pistol bullets because I know there's another box. <laughs> As if so, you need any more bullets. You're not shooting any dudes. I do. I have to get so many bullets to. There's rare dude shootings in this game. I could this I could hit the bullet with my tomahawk, and it would Split be awesome. Split it in twain, and then manage to kill two bad guys behind you with both halves of the bullets. I'm pretty sure I've seen a movie that does that. I'm a million percent sure I've seen a gif from a movie that does that. Starring Gerard Butler. 
It's not a gif, it's a gif, damn it. Uh, a hefe. <laughs> yes. But it's, uh, it's a bit hard to see next to this fire axe here. We have mm -hmm. Harmony's second part. Second part? Uh -oh. What the? Someone Got broke this junk. Someone broke the sigil. And also we lowered bridge because we're Thomas the Tank Engine. We're just doing things we're, aimlessly it, for we fun. Ha we have no motivation for doing anything. Murphy just likes touching things, pulling levers, pressing, pressing buttons. He's like, we're near water and I have to get to freedom. A boat called freedom. Mm hmm. Message. Born free. I, uh, free, yes. <laughs> are you tired of that song yet, everybody? <laughs> cupcake. Cupcakes? Are you tired of that song yet, cupcakes? <laughs> but yeah, there, there, there is a reason to come down here. It's not a good reason, but there's a reason. Right, and this is this one also did not work for me. The, well, this is the final stand. This is the the final one we have to get before mm -hmm. our just our just desserts. Which is probably a health kit. <laughs> Um, not exactly. Not exactly. Two health kits. Two health kits and a, a box of bullets. A health kit that you tape together and, and bludgeon enemies with. We actually resurrect the autistic girl and she's a demon. Damn. Yeah. You resurrect the autistic girl, she becomes your sassy sidekick yeah, for the rest of the game. It's kind of like uh, that one Evil Dead game where you befriend like a uh, deadite, and you use them to solve puzzles. It was, <laughs> it was a weird game. So I collected both parts, and I was wondering if there was a third part because I couldn't get them to work whatsoever. No, no, the, the, the problem is, and it doesn't tell you, but you have to use the first part first. If that. you use the second part first, does it glitch out? No, it ju it's just like, nope. And you try to use it again, it's like, nope. So, yeah, I think I do it here. It's like, nope, yeah, no. I'm not going to do anything. So you got you to gotta use this first. God, it's huge. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he was keeping that thing. <laughs> so, th thankfully, th this is just a pentagram. Okay, good. So, <laughs> it's, not too, it's not too difficult. The I thought we were going with, like, original sigils and stuff. Yeah, you got to... Put up the eye of Sauron and that oh, weird wow. white plant that makes a red liquid. How did he okay. do that? I... How did he reach into that and spin it without spinning the top part? Actually, yeah, you're right. Are you Watch magic, him. Murphy? He is magic. He's magic, Murphy. Magic that's my, Murphy. That's my new nickname for Murphy. That's actually the name of the postman. <laughs> I'm here to take your soul. Magic Howard Blackwood. Actually, we have we haven't seen the Black Postman in like forever. That's because he's like a throwaway character. Uh, I think you mean he's a very important character in no, Book of yeah, Shadowy Memories. Yeah, totally. He's not just a shopkeeper. A, a convenient ethnic guy. Ethnic guy. But hey, magical. We got, we... They call it the Magic Negro. It is an actual yeah. thing you can look up on Wikipedia. Our TV tropes. That's uh, those are both legitimate that too. websites. That too. Wikipedia hey, is safer. Do it on Wikipedia. We we get we got the we got the final sigil. Hooray. So it should be done. It should be done, right? Yeah. What? Nope. Now we have Flip to. Flip the table over. Say fuck this town. Burn everything to the ground. Uh, no better. We have to kind of line these up. Kinda. Hmm. Yeah, you'll you'll kind of you'll kind of see in a second how this is not uh, not an exact science. This looks like shit, by the way. <laughs> no, this is fun. It's like uh uh uh. This looks that, like a flash is that, game. Is that, or something. Is this, uh, I'm gonna assume that's in the right place. Is there I no don't... confirmation noise? Uh, not until you put down all of them. Ugh. Anyway. And here I'm like, all right, well I think I put this one down, but then I put down another one. And it's not letting me go over to it. And I'm like, uh, is it? All right, did I did I do this wrong? Is it? No, that doesn't. No. Exact science. Wow. Yeah, you can't just like randomly oh. place these around. Oh. It's. <laughs> it is. Oh, I have sads in me. 
That doesn't... You, why? How hard would it have been to just line it up, developers? I don't I, understand. <laughs> why is this the way it is? <laughs> this was... The, I, I know watching it is infuriating, but actually trying to do it. This is so... Like, I don't know shit about game development, but this looks really easy to fix. <laughs> just making them line up with the drawings? Yeah, no. How hard could it be? Why is that... this the way it is? <laughs> Oh, you, you ready? You ready for the payoff? I'm You're losing my mind. <laughs> he, he, oh, here we go. You ready? It, it just pops into existence. Whatever the fuck that is. That, that it just fucking it, apparated. Well, uh, what do you what do you think that is? A dildo. Shove a it up dil your fucking ass, Murphy. You goddamn idiot. Uh, close. Very it, spiky, uncomfortable. It's a melee dildo. weapon. No, it's just some hot topic thing. It is. I think the game calls it a demon statue. I call it a Halloween decoration that you put on your front yard to spook the little kids with. It, it, is, it is the exact same animations as the tomahawk. It does the exact same damage, and you just spent the entire game getting it. Congratulations. Yeah, because you know how much combat we're going to have to do. Somebody hack this game. Make a mod to change the name of this to Demon Dildo. It will improve the game tenfold. But yeah, so uh, ba back at the cinema, back at the movie theater, there was a out-of-the-way door that had a light above it. But it was... Well, you could go in and look about, and there was a door, and it was locked. So you're like, alright, this is dumb and a waste of time. And It unlocks be... later. Well... We did yeah. find out. We did find out where yeah. the autistic girl lives. Uh, Lamont Street. <laughs> Lamont. That's kind of a sassy name for a street in Silent Hill. Lamont Street. It's probably I'm... some author or somebody's friend or something. Yeah. So, we get it. We get another picturesque apartment. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous, beautiful, lovely yeah. kitchen. And oh. East facing can't, windows. Can't go in there. So. I know, I know you were jokingly mentioning before, like, the parents were dickholes. Oh, great, I'm right. <laughs> uh, well, it was a single parent. Let's go with that. We, okay. ob we obviously want to demonize women. They're bad. And, and she does not put her underpants away, which is bad. Yeah. But yeah, so we, we get the final payoff here. Um, my autistic child will never be a real whole person, so <laughs> I'll murder her. <laughs> and run away to somewhere like th this is this is the resolution to the story i just want to know why the autistic girl was able to read but not able to decipher i shouldn't walk off this pier i do not have a good answer answer that vatra how about that yeah but yeah, we never find out if the the mother left town or she just I certainly hope she her... did it's silent hill <laughs> Maybe better off anywhere but here. She disintegrated into her panties, but oh, what is this? She's a panty ghost. Oh, spooky. Spooking me out. It. Well, actually, this is a pretty oh, spooky no. room. Oh, no. It's that same portrait over and over again <laughs> over the bed. And oh, it's our spooky chalkboard that ah. we've used before. It's a bunch of repeated objects. Oh, no. Oh, what do we have here? Two health kits. Oh, goodness. That, that autistic girl spoiled us. Yep, man. She left behind her fucking creepy dolls. Mm-hmm. Anything yep. good in her closet? Nope. Any no, My Little Pony merchandise? Uh, ju just two med kits. That's why we ran around town and found out an autistic girl got murdered. Congratulations. So I'm just going to take my demon dildo statue and <laughs> head back to the bridge. Because, yeah, we, we've just got one last little final area to get through. And uh, I did finally... Oh, there are the pistol bullets. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> I will shove them into my demon statue, which I'm going to get a lot of use out of. <laughs> I'm sad that I correctly guessed the ending of that side quest. Uh, it's it's fine. I mean it. That was kind of predictable, and I'm a little sad. It it's sad because it served no purpose outside to be just spiteful as fuck. 
Yeah. It's like if it was if just in, dark for the sake of being dark. It's like if instead of just being autistic, she was like an autistic minority quadriplegic <laughs> that rolled off the dock. Mm-hmm. Rolled right off. And yeah, look, but, it's Travis's truck from Silent Hill Origins. Yeah, it's like a. Behold. <laughs> What is it doing here? No one knows. <laughs> I think I Silent Hill, the town just gets confused sometimes and just plops things places. Yeah. It's like, which game is this? I don't know, here's a truck. But Which game is this? I don't know, Pyramid Head's in it. God damn it. <laughs> uh, it's Pyramid Head, Butcher, Boogeyman. What am I doing? Silent Hill's getting senile in its older age. That's That explains it. That's a canon explanation for why the games have gotten a little bad. But yeah, we, we this is the... the oh, god damn uh, it. God damn it, man! I'm just trying to dig here. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, I'm. It's actually I'm, the owner of the house. He doesn't want you to dig on his property. I'm the owner now. <laughs> Gazumtite. Gracias. But yeah, the. I think at this point I realize, like, wait a minute. I could have used the demon statue. But, <laughs> but then I realize I don't care. No, no, you have so much ammo. Whatever. Yeah. It was quicker to just shoot him anyway. But what what do you think's in the final a final little dig site? <sighs> Another dildo. I don't know. It's uh, it's the a, soul of Silent Hill. It's the it's that uh, bottle figures. of weird stuff. A that, Galophitis. Yeah, it made Heather have an abortion mm -hmm. of a demon. And it made Alessa have an abortion of a demon. Yeah, it's a magical mystery fluid from Israel or. It's like I a Kabbalah thing, but it's made from white Claudia. Yeah, it's something weird. Mm -hmm. I, also, I have no idea why I picked up the demon statue. I Because I, it's hilarious. I don't want to spoil it, but there is no more fighting in the rest of this video. This is... The, <sighs> Just this spoiled is, it. No spoilers. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is our second to last side quest. It's... I actually... I, I do like those. Did you do this one? I don't recognize it yet. Is this the... Actually, I think I know what it is. This one's good. I like this one. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one's good. It's just, it, it's, it's another, it's another little example of what it seems like the developer was like. This is a cool idea, but we can't put it into the game. Yeah, so it, it does seem out of place and really gimmicky. Yeah, and it's kind of like, I don't know, too mm. simple. Like they could have uh, went further with. They could have made a whole game out of this idea. Yeah, if I'm gotta, thinking of the right thing, <laughs> you gotta keep that frying pan cold. <laughs> but yeah, our uh, the actual quest is gonna be in this last final open room. Silent Hill doesn't know where to spawn frying pans. So confused. Yeah. More evidence for the Cena Silent Hill uh, theory. Uh, Murphy, that's a mirror. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what's wrong with it. It's not a picture. It's a mirror. I hate how they had to have him say that because playtesters went in and were just like, lol, it's just a weird mirror. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm stupid. Yeah, so, well, uh, the the point of this particular side quest is you look in the mirror and you're like, wait a minute, something's different, as Murphy said. Mm -hmm. So you just have to have the room match up with the mirror. So in this case, the lamp was on the mirror. It was off in the real world, so it's mm -hmm. like... Which is it, really cute. That's a cute idea. I like that yeah. idea. And some of the things can be a bit hard to see, or understanding what you have to do can be a bit difficult, but it's interesting. Yeah. I think it's. I think this game is a, has a lot of little good ideas that didn't quite fit, and didn't... I don't know, I feel like even thematically there were a lot of good ideas that didn't actually gel together in the end as, like, mm -hmm. one piece yeah, that's why I don't. I feel that this could have been better as like a. I know, I know one guy totally ragged on me before, but this could have been a better cheap knockoff of Alan Wake <laughs> than a Silent Hill knockoff, or I mean, a Silent Hill game. Because <laughs> it, it 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 shares a lot of themes with Alan Wake, especially like the setting and shadows and all that crap. Well, I mean, Alan Wake takes a lot from Silent Hill too, so it's kind yeah. of like a chicken and eggy sort of situation by this point. Yeah. <laughs> Alan know, Wake. Alan Wake is like almost a spinoff in a yeah, way. So, so it was like I think this is the final step, and I think I get a bit confused because I don't remember. 
<laughs> I was like, um, is the fan no? Is it that? And the bad thing is, if you do take too long, something will actually appear in the mirror and start attacking you as an invisible enemy. Mm -hmm. That happened to me. It was really cool. I liked it. Yeah, but yeah, I finally realized, like, oh, well, I'm how the fuck am I supposed to see that? But yeah, there's a there's a lit candle yeah, in the very <laughs> far edge of the mirror. There we go. We have. I feel like it should have waited until you looked at it to to shatter because it would have scared you. I I don't I think it mildly scared me. I think the first time, but yeah, we learned that the Silent Hill Psy Psychiatric Health Center, which I've I've never heard of outside of all the other psychiatric. Uh, it probably centers. built a new place since uh, Homecoming happened. <laughs> it's probably Blookhaven. But yeah, huh? there there is our OCD lady. I do like that little touch. I think actually mm. she is the one that will attack you in the mirror. But it no, just looks it's just a screamer, I think. I don't know. But yeah, so for our reward, we get health kits, which is whatever. But I think there are, yeah there are pistol bullets, which is I would say uh, useful. Except I, I really can't over embellish the fact. We are not going to have to fight anything, so... Sad that that shadow doesn't correspond to the fan. Yeah. Like, it's just on the wall like a drawing. By the way, I like how that quest was, like, a billion times easier than the previous two you did, and you got stupider stuff than the previous quests. Like, no, you got I mean, better I, things. I, multiple I'm... health kits. The autistic girl only gave you two health kits. And this one, and this one, and that was, like, yeah, way longer. Sh I shuffle around a room, and it's like... Here's better stuff. Also, even though it's really hard to miss, uh, there was the subway entrance in case you wanted to take the subway here. I don't know why. There's we th this bird cage. You ready? You ready for the payoff? I'm ready. Because so this ready. is this is the final side quest. Poor little guy. The fuck out that, of here. I know that feeling. If only I could free my soul. His kid looks so weird. I get like a yay, a, yay, <laughs> a, a Kieran Culkin or like a Macaulay. Culkin Ooh, yeah, vibe. definitely Kieran Culkin. Yeah. As if he forgot about Charlie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I don't I want to say it's like a reveal to see Charlie, but we've already seen Charlie in Saint Maria, so it's it's not a reveal whatsoever. It's that that was it. That almost seems like some cheesy post-credits cutscene in the wrong place. Yeah, and it was I'm... cheesy. Very cheesy. But either way, that is, that is all the side quests done. We are actually going to head the fuck out of Silent Hill because... Hooray! Point of no return! We we are at... <laughs> we're free! Born free! Yeah. But I want to thank Voidburger. Yeah, thanks for having me.